The Devil All The Time is the story of which revolves around its title itself. It shows how devil resides in human himself. The story begins with Willard Russell teaching his 9-year-old son Arwen to be sincere in prayer. This follows Willard's haunting memories in combat during World War II. Arwen is bullied at school and his father instruct him to stand up for himself. The father-son dynamic leads to the plot that introduces us to residents of two secluded American towns, Coal Creek, West Virginia, and Nockemstiff, Ohio, both as harsh as they sound. Arwen, played by Tom Holland, grows up to encounter these people as their life intertwine in cruel ways. Practically every scene is filled with gloom in some form or another, beside the grim tonality. Nevertheless, the stellar assembled cast make the journey worthwhile, especially since few of the characters have redeeming qualities. Carl and Sandy, a couple with penchant of walking in the wild side, to put it mildly, meet at the same diner where Willard comes across his future wife, Charlotte. Other plot lines weave in and out, bringing us Sebastian Stan's redemption of a corrupt cop in Lee Bodecker, Harry Mellings as a preacher, Roy Lofty, and another preacher, Preston T. Garden, played by Robert Pattison at his devious best. Delusions! If there's still any doubt of Pattison potential, his stellar performance here should lay them to rest for good. The events between young Arvin and his fathers lay the foundations of who the boy eventually becomes. So in the bold sense, this is a coming of the age tale, helmed by Tom Holland as Arvin grows older. It's impossible not to root for him as Holland showcases the young man's troubled upbringing with a lot of restraint. However, the mystery of watching these intricate narratives unfolds over 2 hours and 18 minutes is likely to divide audiences. The ethical implication of these character actions due to their complex relationship with religion makes the film eventually intriguing and challenging. Director Antonio Campos' vision is unflinching but often begs the question, what's the point of it all? The answer probably lies in the film's title, and the wretchedness of being human constantly is battled with our demons. The devil all the time is relentlessly cynical in its onslaught, and certainly not for those put off by the darkness of the human nature. So at the end, I guess it is the movie for intellectual type people and not for those who wants to be entertained, especially for our Indian audiences. What are your thoughts over it? Drop that into the comment section and before leaving, if you like this video, hit the like button and for more such content like this, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon.